Hi, I'm Rachel Ka. And I'm Connor O'Brien. Today we will be talking about Jesse Eisenberg's portrayal of David Lipsky in the movie The End of the Tour. First, we'll take a look at their looks. First, we'll talk about the major differences between the looks of the two characters. This is David Lipsky. Now, with his abs and big arms aside, let's look at his face. This is a Mr. Steel Your Girl face. He has a great jawline, a little bit of stubble. He is very good looking. I feel sexual tension from this photo. Now, when we look at Jesse Eisenberg, it's not quite the same story. Now, granted, there's more to love, but it's just not the same. This could cause incongruous uh, meanings in the body language of the two characters throughout the movie. So in terms of personality, Jesse Eisenberg really wasn't the right person to portray Lipsky. So already, they don't even look alike at all, which kind of sucks because they made uh, Jason Siegel look a lot like David Foster Wallace, but they didn't even try for Jesse Eisenberg. Um, and in terms of personality, I think Jesse Eisenberg brings a lot of his like his own persona into all the characters he plays. And um, like if you look back on a lot of the movies that he was in, all the characters he played were really similar, like uh, in Now You See Me or uh, The Social Network, To Room With Love. Like he was, he was always like that egotistic kind of know-it-all person and he was really awkward and pretentious. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, so now we're going to analyze the personalities of both Jesse Eisenberg and David Lipsky through their Facebooks. Let's start with David Lipsky's Facebook. So he has a picture of a dog and like some artsy kind of photo. It kind of looks very artsy to me. Uh, he friended me back, which is a very positive sign. <laughs> it makes it makes me seem like feel like he is a friendly person. Um, no, once, you know what? He, you know, no, he's a little bit of a dick, Connor. He only friended you because you said you went to Stanford. <laughs> Um, besides that, um, he seems like a pretty normal guy. Yeah. When you look at Jesse Eisenberg's Facebook, however, um, it's kind of, again, more famous character, I guess, than David Lipsky, but his Facebook is more kind of like pompous. It's awkward. If you look at some of the interviews of him, he talks in the same ways in like all his movies. Like in this movie, he portrays a super awkward guy in the social network. He portrays a super, super awkward guy. Like it's not, he is an awkward it, guy. It is his personality. And it's basically turning his personality into those characters, personality in the movies, not so much an acting form. Now let's look at the home life of David Lipsky and how that kind of differs from the portrayal that Jesse Eisenberg puts forth. Right, so, uh, okay, so, <laughs> so Lipsky is supposed to be that, um, the guy from New York, the big, like, interviewer, who's, like, in, you know, all the magazines, and he's, okay, you know. Okay. All right, so he's a New York personality, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, Mr. H was, uh, in journalism, right? I feel like David Lipsky and Mr. H kind of share a personality. Uh, he's outgoing, he lives in a city with a ton of people. Um, and I feel like this should have been portrayed in the film more. Uh, David Foster Wallace is very reclusive. Uh, he lives far away from people, and although I understand that maybe there's some awkwardness from these two worlds colliding, I believe that it was instead portrayed as a fault of David Lipsky's character instead of because David Lipsky is so typically sociable. Alright, so uh, there are two scenes where the personality differences are especially noticeable and probably negatively affected the quality of, like, a... The film. The film. I don't even know if I like you yet. So nervous about whether you like me. There you go. Your food will be out soon. Can I get you anything else? No, 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 we're fine. Thank you. Thanks. Um, what's this I story do. about in your mind? What does is, what is Jan want? Uh, just what it's like to be the most talked about writer in the country, or that <laughs> that sort of thing. Right. That makes it sound. That's not. How do you learn like to do this stuff? Do what? The interviewing. Like, does one go to interviewing school? <laughs> yes, I went to eight years of interviewing school. So you got a master's? I did. Um, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm a writer. Ah, okay. Yeah. Great. I mean, I write fiction as well. I, I just had a novel published, actually. Great. Jesse Eisenberg in this conversation was very darting. He kind of looks every which way. He's awkward with his pauses. It doesn't really have a good flow, and understandably, it might not have a good flow because the two characters don't know each other very well. But I believe that... It's not the fault of the character's like social skills, but instead uh, more of uh, Jesse Eisenberg's character coming through here. Also, when uh, David Foster Wallace uh, heard, well, David Foster Wallace heard the news that um, David Lipsky had received a book, 
it was awkward. Now, understandably, this would be awkward because um, Jess, David Lipsky is a writer and he wants his book to get known and this is kind of like an idol to him. But uh, the way Jesse Eisenberg portrays it is not quite so. Yeah, it just seemed more like uh, Lipsky was kind of insulted that David Foster Wallace didn't know that he was a writer and didn't know that he had a book and that um, was more likely due to the awkwardness of Jesse Eisenberg's character than Lipsky actually being offended by any of that. Alright, the next scene we will be talking about is the scene where David Foster Wallace yells at Jesse Eisenberg for not, uh, for hitting on his ex-girlfriend. Hey, I was wondering, um, when I get back to New York, if I have any questions about uh, what Dave was like in grad school or something, can I can I email you? Sure. Mm, it's okay with Dave. I'm sure it's fine with Dave. That's great, so can I take your email address then? Sure. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you could just write it on your book. Thank you so can much. Can you read that? I can see that it is letters, but uh, no, I'll be fine. Thank you so much. Sure. Now, although Jesse Eisenberg has more to love, as shown in the photo earlier, M David Lipsky is Mr. Steal Your Girl. Um, the portrayal of the scene really makes David Foster Wallace look like a bad guy, like he's irrational. But in reality, the way um, if there was a sociable, good looking guy hitting on someone who like you still maybe kind of had feelings for, it makes sense that you maybe get a little defensive. Uh, especially if D uh, David Lipsky was actually hitting on her, which I do think is a big possibility. He probably was. What? Okay, so uh, David Foster Wallace and David Lipsky, both in real life, would probably have gotten along pretty well because they both have dogs, and so that's like a good talking point. But um, Jesse Eisenberg does not have a dog, and so he doesn't understand, and that makes him heartless. <laughs> Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comments section below. <laughs> yeah, in the comments. Please subscribe. <laughs> have a good one.